What I realized over the last several months here, I've been talking in some of our private events, some of our masterminds, some of our uh, platinum members and that type of thing. And what we've realized is obscurity is so much bigger than I originally anticipated. For an awful lot of agents, they're fighting obscurity, just meaning nobody knows who they are. It's not that they don't like your message. They don't get your message. They certainly don't get it often enough. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that because uh, we did an exercise when we had our private event in Columbus and we were talking a little bit about your brand and it's the most misconstrued. I'm, I'm writing an article about it in a newsletter for everybody as well. It's the most misconstrued uh, word or definition that there is. What is a brand? It has nothing to do with them recognizing you. It has nothing to do with them thinking you're number one. It has nothing to do with them knowing your logo or your photo or your slogan or any of that stuff. None of that has anything to do with brand. So if I can get you 5,000 leads in January, what good is that if you're not handling them correctly or they don't think the right things about you? What about February? What about March and beyond? You have to have that side of the equation right. And I want to ask everybody here, um, what are some of the things you know about me? If we're really being honest about it, it's, you know, I, I take pride in being an asshole. You know what I mean? Like um, Charlie Munger was quoted. I actually screenshotted it on the plane today. Charlie Munger was quoted as saying the only reason to, to get rich is so that you don't have to get along with anyone. <laughs> and I started thinking about it like, that's true. I don't have to pretend that I like anyone. If I don't really like them, I don't have to. But here's the thing, that is my brand. So if I called 10 of the last leads that you had and I asked them about you, what would they say? Most of them would say, who? I don't even know who you're talking about. And I could say, yeah, you know, Joe Johnson, the the realtor you're from right here in town, from right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, you filled out a form. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. That is where if you get that side of it, because everything you know about me is what I refer to as dog whistle copy. Only that dog hears it. So if you had a grandfather that got sick from cancer, you listen to that story. If you lost your home to foreclosure, you listen to that story. If you like nice shirts, you listen to that story. If you have a dog or, or I can't tell you how many people say 25 years ago, they had a dog named Honey. It was one of the greatest dogs they ever had. That's, that's truly um, what I refer to as dog whistle copy, meaning when I talk about a topic, when I talk about my car getting repossessed during the office caravan tour of our new listings, all of the agents walked outside and they were repossessing my Cadillac. That rings true with an awful lot of agents, but that is your brand. That's what ties people to you. And the problem for an awful lot of agents is I, I've got some big, big stuff we're doing here over the next couple of months. So you can finish the year strong and you can make next year very big. But if you don't have that in your marketplace, it's going to be very difficult to get any attention. They have to know some stuff about you. If I were walking down the strip tonight, I don't do uh, gambling and alcohol or any of that stuff. I already love my life, so I don't need to drink and I don't need any money. So I don't do any of that stuff, but we're doing a lot of shows and stuff while we're here. That's more their style anyway. And if you saw me walking into a hotel, there's a good chance. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Oh, I'm a member of yours. Uh, uh, how are the horses? Or did you bring honey with you? Or, you know, those types of things are how you relate with someone. If all you are to your local market is a real estate agent, if there's no humanization there, if there's nothing that you can plug in there to so they know a little better. I mean, look at what happened on today's call. You're like, oh, wait, Greg's in a different location. Oh, the lighting's completely different here. Oh my gosh, he's in Vegas. What's going on? These are things that people are interested in and they almost feel like they're 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 friends with you as their agent right so if they're a lead and you're their real estate agent i want them to look at you as a friend who also has a real estate license rather than a licensed real estate agent and i kind of know her well or i know a lot about her or she's got a really cool life or something like that that's not the case for most agents they aren't even known at all
So when you do meet them, there's nothing to talk about. They don't relate with you because you're just a salesperson that's trying to get a commission, that's trying to underprice their house. There's no credibility or authority there for when you do go on that appointment. Now, one thing that is really picking up big, and I'm just doing some research on this, I'm doing some testing on this, so I'm not releasing it to anybody yet, but one thing that's working very well is there's a way to do faceless video, faceless YouTube and faceless Facebook. Uh, it shouldn't be called Facebook if you don't show your face, right? But faceless video uh, is really taken off. There's a lot of YouTube videos. You've seen this before. So um, if you've been on TikTok or you've seen a social media influencer that's going to the Italian restaurant, they're not actually showing their face and they're not weirdly in a group of people and talking while they are recording. What they're doing is quietly recording. And then they go home and they'll do a montage of all of that together. And they'll say, this is the Italian restaurant that we went to. Oh, the lasagna is phenomenal. And you have to get the creme brulee. And that's a faceless video that they just took video and then they did the voiceover later. We have a lot of agents that have done that with tours of homes or doing a new construction house. You tour the model, you chop up or have a VA do it so you don't have to figure out how technology works. Have a VA do it for 20 bucks. Tell them, chop this up and make it look really pretty. Only include this, cut out that part of the kitchen because I didn't know the trash can was there or whatever. That becomes faceless, but they get your personality in that. So I would think if I were looking through my voiceover, what joke can I put in there? How can I be funny about something? How can I use current events coming up here? And uh, yes, it's going to work better if it's face, if it's via face, but those types of things are creating a brand and getting you out of your own way as to why you don't want to build that brand, but letting them know some stuff about you. And that's where I create that GLMC club and, you know, trying to get so many agents into the Greg Luther Millionaire Club where they started with 200,000 in debt and now they have a net worth of X million dollars. Um, it's very powerful for me. You know, that's that's kind of the impact that I'm looking to create, but that's passed down to me from someone else that helps so many people making a little dent in the universe. So that's who I am. And I think a lot of people are going to relate with that a lot more than those that are offended when I say something, you know, because every single call, by the way, you're going to be offended. Like anybody that says, I've been a member for two months and something you said today, then you haven't paid attention for two months because I should have offended you on every call. This is probably the first call you've ever seen of me if you're just now offended today. But you know where my heart is and that I, if every human on this planet names someone that wants you to do better in real estate. Name someone that authentically wants to help you and get that meaningful impact for you. So I think a lot of people will deal with that, but that's not known unless I tell you that. So think of that for your buyers and sellers or the leads that you have. If you have those leads and they don't know what value you represent, they're not reading your freaking mission statement that you spent three days and asked everybody's opinion on if this mission statement sounds good. That happened before there was video. That happened, that worked before there was flip videos. You guys remember flip videos? We would carry this thing around and we could record big fat white thing. And then you could click a button and a USB would pop out and you could plug it into your computer. You guys remember flip videos? That's, uh, that is when it changed the game that print's not going to work the same. Uh, mission statement on your website or on your business card is not going to work. Now, they want to hear it from you. They want to know about you. So you can do that. You can still do print if you're mailing them a physical newsletter. You have some type of article on Facebook or in your email or even texting info or anything like that. The more you can show that you are human, that you do go through the same things that everybody else does, um, that you have hobbies and interests maybe that they can relate with. You know, if you've been in the military, you are, or if your family member has, your spouse, you are crazy if you don't talk about that.
I'm telling you, every military person in your town trusts you more than they trust me if I were in that town because of that military tie. If you have, if you are, or your family member was a teacher, a police officer, a fireman, a nurse, a doctor, any hero type jobs, you have to mention that as often as you can. They will naturally be more tied to you. A military spouse trusts and confides in other military spouses. Uh, Spanish are naturally going to tie more to Spanish. Chinese are going to naturally tie more to those that speak their native language or are from their native location. There's something that relates with them that they know we've got this bond together. There's something you have that you could utilize that. So I really want you to kind of think through that. That's how you develop a brand. It's not put your picture and your logo on something and mail it nine times so that they recognize you. The more you mail it, the more it pisses them off. They don't know anything about you. You're just clogging up their mailbox with someone that they're not relating well with. So that's just showing you want their business, not showing you want to earn that friendship or mutual respect or some type of synergy you're creating together. Nicole, what are your thoughts on this so far? I know we've talked about this a couple times. Um, let me know your thoughts on this and, and what you've seen from some of the agents that have made those changes. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're tying it into something that's relatable to your life, you're able to talk smartly about it because you have that synergy, whatever that niche is. So as Greg just mentioned, the firefighters, we had an agent in uh, California who did a whole thing with uh, anybody in the medical firefighter first responder. Uh, she had a specific program because her husband was in that world and she knew it well. So she was the wife of, I think he was a fireman, um, but she was a wife. She had been in that world. She had seen a lot of things. She kind of heard nuances about their lifestyle. And she was able to do the dog whistle where she put that out there and she attracted them magnetically to her. And it was just a more natural way of doing things. So if you're able to identify something like that um, and, and showcase it and market it properly, it makes a huge difference. We've had golfers. I mean, even just knowing golf terms, like I don't, what is it, birdie? I have no idea. I have no golf knowledge. But if you are an avid golfer, and there's golf communities around you, you can go with that lingo. You're talking their language. They understand you. So uh, think about, I mean, you probably off the top of your head are like, I got nothing. But if you stop and yeah. think and you just think of your life and like the places you've been, you have something. There's definitely something there. Well, and look, I mean, I know we make fun of them now, but those of you that have been licensed 20 or 30 years, I'll tell you something that's kind of corny, but it worked back then. If you had nothing else, take a picture of you and your cat. And when you use that as your agent photo, I know it looks stupid to people that don't have a cat. But to those that have a cat or that have a dog, if you're with your dog or whatever, they know what that love is, right? They're like, I'm telling you, as many issues as I've had with Honey, she may be in surgery again next Wednesday. And as many issues as I've had there, I know it's going to be like losing a child. When that time comes, if you guys have a, a, a pet at home, you know what I mean by that. So you're not back then before there was any video. This was literally before YouTube. You know, there was no video. Um, you couldn't even put video on MySpace at that time. The agents that would show a picture of them and their horse or them and their dog or them and their car or, you know, something that they were intrigued by. That worked well. I mean, hell, if they had their military uniform on, that works well. So there's something you can do. And we're not doing it by photos now because we're far beyond all of that. But there's something you can do to relate with your list a little better so that if I throw a thousand people at you, you're actually going to convert them. Hey, it's Greg Luther, and listen, if you don't follow this channel, there's a good chance you're never going to see me again. I consistently put out regular content, and it's extremely helpful for real estate agents to grow their business. I want to keep you up to date on what's working so that you're in the know, and you can take action accordingly. So be sure that you like and comment here, but most importantly, make sure you follow, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on anything. I'm here to help you in growing your business and I'd love to do so, follow right now.